Hey guys, Jordan here. Uh, I've been watching some of LR Drum 21's videos recently, and he's a big Deadpool fan, which is awesome because I also love Deadpool. So he's been showing off a lot of the Deadpool action figures he's got recently. So you should definitely go check out his channel and see those videos. I'll put a link in the description. But I kind of wanted to show off some of the Deadpool art that I've picked up. Uh, big Deadpool fan. Like In fact, the first uh, tattoo I got for my sleeve of Marvel characters. Let's see if I can get it on here. You can see up there. Might be shaky because I don't have a very good angle here. But the first one on there is Deadpool. He was the first one I got to start that sleeve. So, yeah, big fan. Uh, but anyways, some of the art I picked up, like, I have this sketch card here. Uh, this one was just by a random artist. I just kind of like the cartoony look, so I picked it up. Uh, this one I actually really like. Uh, this is by a local artist here in Colorado. Uh, I'm actually friends with him, Daniel Crozier. Uh, he's kind of rising up in the comic world, so you should definitely look him up. Um, but I really liked this. He is known more for his wood-burning style, like he actually burns pictures into the wood, but this is more just uh, watercolor and graphite. But it's really cool. Deadpool's playing um, jump rope with these kids, and he's using his guts there. So this one was really cool. Um, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites that I have. Uh, I have this picture uh, from Victor Moreno. This is a poster, kind of a Dawn of the Dead style poster with Deadpool zombie head there. So it's Dawn of the Deadpool. And it's, it was a Phoenix Comic Con 2010 exclusive. I didn't actually attend that Comic Con, but I picked up this poster because I thought it looked awesome. Then this is just an art print of Deadpool there, just crouching on a roof with a gun. And I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, that's by uh, Joe St. Pierre. And this is an original drawing by that same artist. So a big fan of that. I also like uh, just the red on the sword there. But I think that's a very cool Deadpool there. Um, I don't actually remember who this was by. Uh, I just picked it up because I liked it. Like It's kind of a different style Deadpool. And I just thought it looked pretty cool. I really liked how bright it is. So I went ahead and picked that up. Uh, this is uh, another Deadpool piece that I got from a local artist, uh, Layla Del Duca. Uh, she's big on the comic scene here in Colorado. So, you know, if you're in Colorado, you should definitely look up her work. Um, this was actually a commissioned Deadpool piece, and it came out very, very well. I really like this one. And this is another one. Uh, this was by another um, local artist, uh, Don Austin Jr. And he mostly does watercolor work. You can see this is a watercolor here. And I really like this one. Um, one thing that I did notice was uh, he made it look like Deadpool's pack and an extra pistol over there. <laughs> that was kind of funny to me. But yeah, no, I really liked how it came out. Just uh, the different colors and stuff. Uh, just... The style is way different with watercolor than most of the like pen and marker drawings, so I really like that. And then this is a print I got just of a goofy looking Deadpool here. This one I just thought looked funny, so I had to pick that one up. And this is another print. Uh, it was originally done in watercolor, but this is just a print of it with Deadpool being Wolverine here. Um, that's the... I believe this is one of the covers from the Merc with a Mouth series. Uh, not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure it is. So, let me know on that one. Uh, here's one I picked up at uh, 
Denver Comic Con here, or Comic Fest, I mean. Uh, that was this past year's Comic Fest. I got this Deadpool drawing over there, and it turned out really, really well. This is uh, another one I picked up at Comic Fest. I really liked the guns that he's holding there. You can see that one smoking, and it has a quote from uh, Tropic Thunder. I don't know what it's called, I just know the sound it makes when it kills a man. So, quote from Tropic Thunder, but it seems pretty fitting for Deadpool. Then here, this one's from uh, Howard Shum. Uh, this one was a commission piece. And uh, you might know him. He's done work on, like, Kim Possible, that show. Uh, he's done a lot of Justice League drawings. He has a pretty unique style. So I really liked this Deadpool, just all in his style here. Then this was the exclusive print from Denver Comic Fest. And it featured Deadpool, so I had to pick one up. I'll zoom in there so you can read it. But yeah, I really liked how that print turned out. Uh, so, yeah, you know, it was a good one. This was another one from Denver Comic Fest. I picked up a lot of stuff there. Just kind of a goofy looking Deadpool there. Uh, by another local artist, uh... Kevin uh, Gentlecore, he has a website, I believe. This one I picked up uh, just at a signing at my local comic shop, Time Warp Comics. Uh, Kevin Carome drew this one for me. Deadpool saying, got your nose. So I really like that one as well. Uh, here's another sketch card Deadpool that I have. This one isn't Deadpool, this is Gonzo. Uh, this one was done for me by Sam Spina. He's a local artist, so I really like this. That's just in with my Deadpool collection for some reason. Uh, this is another one I got at Denver Comic Fest. Deadpool eating a chimichanga because they are delicious. Then I got this as a free sketch with uh, the earlier watercolor you saw with Deadpool and the forks and knives and spoons. Uh, it came with a free sketch and so I got a Deadpool free sketch and that's that one. And then this one I got off of Etsy. Uh, somebody has a project where they draw on encyclopedia pages. So I got this Deadpool drawn on an encyclopedia page for Vespasian, which I don't know what that is or who that is. But yeah, I really like this drawing. That drawing is just awesome. And you can see the words through him still. But yeah. Really cool. So that's uh, pretty much my entire Deadpool art collection. Like I said, uh, LR Drum 21 kind of inspired me to go through my Deadpool stuff again uh, with all his new videos on um, his Deadpool action figures. But anyways, yeah, so that's my collection there. I hope you guys enjoyed looking through it with me. And please comment, rate, and subscribe.